Greetings, my name Model Maniacs. Pensman Bill, Pensman's Bunker coming to you with update number three. Oh, 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 of Classic Plastic 101 Appreciation Group Bill for Chris. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, guys, getting down to the crunch, getting down to the crunch. Lots done, lots done. Let's get to it. Oh, no, not the phone. Yeah, Bill, <laughs> the phone. What do you got here? Oh, you've been... Working on the buildings. These are like railroad buildings for end scale railroad. And uh, they build them up and it's going to be part of the diorama. <laughs> you look real close. I used paper and drew like an interior because so I was going to have the front door open. So when you look in there, you can actually see something. I actually put one of the Martians in the front living room looking out the window. Eh, I'm a Martian, and I like this ranch-style house. I might take up residence here. Eh. <laughs> this right here is a squatter. Squatter from Mars. Y'all bull. <laughs> Shut up. All right, different project. All right, doing a layout on the, uh, use the picture frame, flip it on the back side, put some cork down. Do a rough layout of where I want the ships and where I want the tank that's getting blasted. And then I glued down the farmhouses or the buildings. There it is, the rough out. I snaked the, uh, used a dowel for the Martian ships. Uh, anchored it in there and ran the wires underneath so I can do all my wiring underneath. Got the wiring for the, sh uh, the blasted tank. Going to run that down through there. So that's, uh, that's the layout. Oh, something else. There it is, putting all the uh, grass and uh, turf down. Woodland scenics, turf and mulch. The the gravel road is poppy seeds. Go to the you know the uh, herb and uh, you know baking section of your grocery store and use poppy seeds. I think they look might be a little over scale, but you know looks good there. Mm, looks good. Also use railroad like telegra telegraph poles and street signs, uh, railroad end scale for this. So it looks pretty good, looks pretty good. Oh, that's it. Here we go. <laughs> trying to do my spooky music there it is guys it's not done yet I still got to do a sound effect I picked up from uh, this one uh, online shop like greeting cards where you could like record uh, like a greeting on a message so I'm going to record the Russian not the Russian the uh, Martian blast and the Martian uh, machines uh, firing sound effects from the movie and the battle scenes from the movie so that's gonna I'm gonna do also a backdrop back here I'll do a backdrop so I can hide the sound effect all right that's with all the lights off so you can get the looks pretty cool all right let me turn on the lights so I can show you better what I did here Woo, too much light let there be light say the Lord come down from Mount Jakawawa he was riding an ass he said them to the Lord. Mm. <laughs> All right, starting off, I used uh, over here, end scale uh, railroad uh, cars, and I put a cardboard interior on the inside because it was just, you know, basically nothing. And then I painted on like the, the tail lights and the bumper and stuff like that, and just doctored it up a little so it looks a little bit better. Put a back door on the house because I want to show away to the Rus the uh, Russian. Keep calling them Russian. They're Martians. How he got in the house. Eh. Added a, uh, one of the, the snake eye probes or little eye probes that you had in the movie. I made that for the uh, Martian ship. Look around the front there. There's the eye. I even made a little Martian on the ground over here. Getting down there checking in things out before the battle. Mm, well, I like this place. I think I'm going to stick around here and, you know, start a little family of Martians. Mm. <laughs> of course, the farmhouse. I did the interior on the inside. The Martian in the window. I got the soldiers disembarking the truck, joining the battle. They see the Martian in the window. They're going to start shooting them. Eh, take that, you bloody bastard. We're going to shoot you. All right, and I got the soldiers here disembarking. 
got the sh uh, tank being hit. And an unfortunate soldier right here, too close to the heat beam. He's catching fire. Oh! It might be a tad gruesome, but I liked it. And there's the Martian uh, eye probe looking down. Got a melted tank in the background that's already been hit. Eh, you've been hit. You've been melted. Eh. Another ship coming in. Another one of them railroad cars I fixed up by painting the uh, bumper and the headlights and doing a cardboard interior. More troops over here. You got the civilians being evacuated. Quick, Grandma, get your ass in the truck. The Russians are going to zap our asses. Eh. <laughs> the tank's coming up. Joining the battle. Fruitless battle. I did, a, I did a cardboard interior also inside there when you look inside this doorway. And you've seen all the trucks. But there she is. Like I said, when uh, I do the sound effect, it'll look really cool. It'll have that like uh, 10, 20 second sound effect from the uh, movie where the battle, you know, the, the army's shooting and the Martian machines are shooting with the Cobra Eye and also... These side thing, uh, weapons here, they were shooting out green rays, and these were the heat rays coming off it. So, there she is. She's looking pretty good. Alright guys, I hope you like it. She's coming together. The lighting effects look really cool. All the little detail on the ground looks pretty cool. I love the subplots. You know, the Martian here and the guys jumping out to fight them. The eye coming off there, the Martian in the background, the tank getting hit, the flashing effect turned out real well. I don't know if you know, but this is the, uh, this is the plastic kit part. But I didn't judge too well and you could see the light bulb here, so I took some plastic. And I extended the, the blasting part. I, I, it's a clear bit of plastic I cut out and shaped and then painted it to extend the, the blast beam to cover up the flashing bulb. So I think it looks pretty cool that way. You know, you got more of the flash going on. You, know, you don't get to see that bulb when you start coming around this way. You just see the, the plastic flashing. So that worked out well. It was a quick fix I had to do on the run. I like the refugees being helped out here trying to get out you got a man and his wife and his baby you got some a lady of her daughter an old man already in here and grandma being ushered out before the martians vaporize their butts and eh, hurry the fuck hurry oh screw me pardon uh, pardon my french hurry up grandma get your ass in gear before we get fried eh. <laughs> waka, 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 waka. all right guys like i said i'll do a backdrop a, a drawn up colored backdrop right here to hide the sound effect and the next uh, update should be the final reveal hope everybody's builds are going well till next time Panzer Man Bill Panzer Man's bunker saying Alvita Zane mine Dominant and Heron woo waka waka choose got lava down here one of the other female bulldogs we got and here's the boys They've had a rough morning. They had breakfast and then they played. Right, guys? Hmm. How oh, my puppies? They're tired. They're tired. It's hard being a bulldog. <laughs> right, Talon? Right, Fang? And that's lava. That's big girl lava lava over there. <laughs> Alright guys, keep building, keep having fun. Until next time, Panzer Man Bill, out!